And then there was one, and in fact the number one can be the theme of this very race. As we're down to the, as we're 33 races in the gut, race, race in the season, in the books, one remains, and that is this, the, the, the running of the, the Ford EcoBoost 400 from Homestead Miami Speedway, Speedway, the 34th and final stop on the Castle GTX Cup Series from season 24, and two drivers going for the championship, one point separates the top two for the championship, one can come out the champion. So a lot of ones is going to be the theme for this race. Let's get the start of this race here today. On the pole it is Jessica Shelton, two-time winner of the season so far. She won at North Wilkesboro, the first race there, and also won the Brickyard Corner in Indianapolis. Also won the Winston All-Star Race at Charlotte as well. <clears throat> She's in the Walt Tools Ford, car 17. She is alongside Carson Gum, who won Phoenix, the last race in the tour, the number 19 Dodge Doors Dodge. Row 2 has Levi McIntyre in the, in the Aflac Ford Fusion. He won the season at Dover, the first race there, and also the night race at Bristol. He'll be alongside the winner at Sonoma, Cab Shearer. Third row has four-time winner of the season, Zach Rogers. A great season still on his on his comeback year. He'll be alongside car number four. It is William Brock in the Kodak Film Chevy. <coughs> Fifth or Fourth row will have car 30, Shane Lake in the Pennzoil Pontiac, who came in second the last two races of the season. Can he get his first win today? Well, we'll find out. He'll be alongside Jay Jefferson in car number five. Next row down has Quentin Moore, who won in Atlanta this season, the Racing with Jesus Dodge. And Atlantis is about the same characteristics as Homestead, so we'll see if the, uh, the magic will happen for him today. He'll be alongside Emmanuel Hartnett in car 20. Next row down has Benjamin Miles in number 21. He'll be alongside car number uh, 16. It is the car of Paul Menix is alongside in the famous Channel Ford. Next row down has Nathan Orman in car number one, and alongside of him will be car 28, Texaco Havlin Ford of Cat Batson. Next row down has car 78, is car number 78, the Five Energy Tractor Boats Toyota of Joshua Osborne. He sits fourth in the points coming into this event. He'll be alongside car number 12. It is Johnny Gardner. Osborne a winner four times on the season so far. So far, Gardner has won one set coming in the first race at Pocono. Next row down has Seth Cole in car 98, the Kayla Ford. He also a four-time winner this season. He'll be alongside the winner at Martinsville and the points and the championship leader coming in, Charles Sanford, car 24 in the DuPont Chevrolet. In fact, he and Keith Batson will both have in car cameras in this event. And speaking of Keith Batson, who's one point behind in second position, he is in the number, he starts in the next row down on the inside row, the Quality Care Services Ford, car 88. He's on. He's a, a two-time winner of the season. He won a season at Talladega and at Riverside, the first Talladega, a second Talladega race, race, I should say, this season. He's alongside Darlington winner Phil Parker in car 25, the winner of the first Darlington race this season. Next row down, Zachary Fitzwater, number nine, and number seven, Jackson Haywood, who's in hot contention for Rookie of the Year. Next row down has Daytona 500 champion Mike Becker in the SCP Pontiac car number 43. He'll be alongside car number 14, the Office Depot Mobile One Chevy of Tristan Allen. Another one who's in hot contention for, for a year of the year as well. Next one down, Dylan Young, number two, the, the Miller Lite Dodge. He's alongside Matthew Logan, who won a 600 at Charlotte this season. Next one down has Ryan Brommer in the Valvoline Board car number six. He'll be alongside car number 15. The winner of the second Oakland race of the season is Ryan George. Next row down is car number 40, Sky Commons, and car number eight, Rob Evans, who had a great run at Phoenix last race in the tour. Next row down, Jay, or Jesse Turner, who won at Watkins Glen this season in the U.S. Army Pontiac Car 01, and the winner of the first race at Talladega this season, it is Matt Haas in Car 18, the Interstate Barriers Pontiac. Next row down, Jeremy Diaz in 71, the Team Realtree Chevrolet, and number 11, Mitchell Collins in the FedEx Office Toyota. Next row down is, is Zach Winkle in 26, and number 31, James Henry. Next row down has car number... 55, Daniel Bouchard, and number 22, Dylan Poteet. Then it's Kyle Matthews, two and it's Kyle Matthews, a three-time winner season so far, and number 42, the Coors Light Pontiac. <clears throat> Gentlemen, start your engine! Man's getting the party engines as we get set for the last 41 laps of the season at Homestead Miami Speedway, the 40 Go Boost 400. 
And we'll finish the starting lineup for you right now here. Kyle Mendes, the three time winner season so far, the number 42 Coors Light Pontiac. He won the season at the first Rockingham race, the first Martinsville race, and the winner at the second race at Charlotte. He's alongside North. He's, one, he's alongside the man who won the second race, at the second North, the second North Wilkesboro race this season. Cole Deaver in the GM Goodrich Chevrolet car number three. And starting shotgun field will be Michael Whitman in car number forty-eight, the low Chevrolet. My comment is, by the way, is the third driver who still has a shot at mathematically winning the championship. He is ninety-two points out in third place in the points. So here, the motion gainer is, by the way, it's one hundred forty-five. So. So, Matthew's another one that can still win the championship here at Homestead, but he's going to have to have, hope for a good run and hope for both, bad luck out of both Charles Safer and Keith Batson, both. But it's mainly between the 24 and the 88 for the championship, really, unless something weird happens here today. We'll find what weirdness will happen, or who will, what weirdness will happen? Who will be the one that comes out the championship? And who will suffer the Homestead curse if it happens? We will know all all the and who and of course also who will win the race in the championship. We will know all those answers in 41 laps today. The finale for season 24 of the Casual Geek Geeks Cup Series is about to get underway. The 40 Caboose 400 is on at Homestead, Miami Spring. Jessica Shelton and Carson Gum lays them down. Third in car camera, by the way, will be carried by Joshua Osborne. It's the third car camera car here today. Off in the turn number three, Levi McIntyre to the low side. Looks low for the number one spot. He's going to take it. Off turn number four as he'll take the lead from Jessica Shelton. And Levi McIntyre leads the first lap. Here comes Zach Rogers to the low side. And Keith Batson already ducked into the low side at number 88. And he will and he will lead Charles Samper for the moment. Samper's caught in the middle between... Um, Dylan Young and Johnny Gardner, and they go through turns three and four now. McIntyre will lead him down here. Zach Rogers second. Third is Shane Legg, who's been on really on a tear as of late in that number 30 machine. Second place we mentioned at Rockingham, and second again at Phoenix. He almost won those two races, I should say. He almost won those two. Can today be the day he finally gets a, gets that first win? Well, we will find out. And he's got a good enough card. He, he he's got a good card. He can possibly do it today. That's gonna be a big thing. And as I said, just because you got a championship battle going on, though, however, does not mean the race is not happening because there are a lot of drivers that still in condition to win this race. Quentin Moore runs fourth, and ben Benjamin Miles right now runs fifth position in the number 21 machine. Nathan Orman runs sixth. Jessica Shelton has dropped to seventh from the, after starting from the pole. And here comes Keith Batson, car number seven, not car number 88. He's he is marching towards the front. He wants to get those five points before Charles Sanford does. As in the point system happens here, you get five points for leading a lap and five points for leading the most laps as well. So winning the race and leading the most laps will give it will give you a grand total of 185 points. If you lead a lap, if you lead a, if you win the race but do not but do not lead the most laps, you still get 180 for the race. So there you have it with that. Batson's advantage, however, he is on the inside lane. Sanders caught on the high side. Here comes Shelton with a three wide move between her. Quentin Moore and Nathan Orman, and she's got Joshua Osborne behind her in car number 78. Ford on the inside, as well as the to with a Toyota hooked up behind. And Shelton will take fourth position away as they come through turns three and four now. And here comes Batson, car 88. He's right there, but he's trying to get a sniff of the draft behind Osborne's car. Levi McIntyre, who won this race back in season 11, he is is a man up front right now. And I think that was, I think if I recall, that was McIntyre's first ever win in the Casual GTX Cup Series as well. I think it was back in season 11 when he when he won that race for his first ever victory.
but he is looking for his start victory today. He comes in in this race by way eighth in the standings. He st he can still p pick up a couple of positions points wise though. He is a he is only well, actually he's actually can't pick up any positions. He is about he's about he's about stuck with where he's at right now. I think he'll likely finish eighth in the points likely because he has dropped the uh, he's about a hundred points. There's a little bit more than hundred points behind Deaver for seventh place, and but more than the hundred ahead of ninth place right now. So. Nonetheless, it's been a good season for Levi McIntyre so far. As we mentioned, he won the first Dover race, and he also won the night race at Bristol, one of his big wins in this series, I will imagine. <clears throat> Zach Rogers, well, he's, his return to the series has been a has been terrific. Fifth in the season coming into this event. He has four wins in the season. That came at Richmond, the first race at Richmond, the first Bristol race. He also won Texas and New Hampshire this season. That was big for him in front of his New England fans. And he is, you know, as he as he is from the state of Massachusetts, is where he's from. But but fifth place in the standings and four wins this season. He has scored, also scored eleven top fives and fifteen top tens. So Zach Rogers in his comeback year, having a tremendous year. You can also say the same thing for the part-time lady Jessica Shelton. Her, the five-time champion in the series. She won that fifth last season right here on this track. Well, actually, she closed her fifth at, at um, Phoenix when she won that event. And here comes a crossover move by Shane Lake. Looks to the low side of Shelton, and he'll take position away. So Shelton briefly had third. Shane takes third back now. But I was going to say, for Shelton, she has two wins this season. Actually, three if you want to count the Winston All-Stars at Charlotte. And, that, and so that and the Brickyard Border is the two that she crossed off her bucket list. And she also um, won the, um, the the first Union 400 at North Wilkes, where the first stop at, the, at that .625 mile track this season. And she squeezes in between Lake and um, Quentin Moore, a daring move on the part of Shelton. Pontiac, a yellow Pontiac being followed by a, a yellow and black Ford. Quentin Moore runs fifth. He won the season at Atlanta. They didn't entirely skunk in this year, but he won the fourth race of the season at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And here comes a move for the lead. Zach Rogers going for the number one spot on Levi McIntyre, and he'll take the lead away. So move to Skull Bandit Chevrolet up to the front position. If he wins this race, he'll be the fifth win of the season. He'll lead everybody else in wins in that category. And he will, and here he comes to the low side. Jessica Shelton will go low on the track as well. And so Zach Rogers leads his first lap of the race, and that'll get him the five points. And here comes Shelton to the low side. She said, "Hey, I won the pole for this race. I want to lead a lap." <laughs> and she'll dive inside of McIntyre, looking for the second position now. Um, going back through the field here, another guy going going for number five this season, Joshua Osborne. He won both Michigan races. He also won the Pepsi 400 at Daytona, and he also won, I believe, he won at Rockingham, I think, this season in the AC Delco 400. So, so Joshua comes in this race. He comes in this race fourth in the points. He actually has going for the championship at one point in the season, but a couple of Cold races um, hurt him a bit, and so he right now trying to salvage what he can season-wise. Keith Batson right behind him. He's the man ahead. He's the man who would have, who had the championship if he hold, if he if they would race for the finish today. Jessica Shelton leads her first lap of the race, and she'll take the lead away from Zach Rogers. Well, I was going to say Keith Batson, the man who would have the championship if this race were to end right now. He runs in seventh position. Charles Sanford right now runs seventeenth in the in the order today. Two wins this season, regardless of a good season for Keith Batts and another good one I should say for him. Two wins this season. He come, it come, it wins coming at the second race at Talladega. He also won the first road race of the season at Riverside. Shane Lake, meanwhile, trying to look look for the lead on Jessica Shelton at the moment as we what as. We were about getting ready to talk about Kev Shear here in a minute. Shear was right, is running right behind Batson. There he is, Kev Shear running in eighth position. His win came up; it didn't skunk him neither. He won at Sonoma this season, the second race on the road course. 
Dylan Young, well, he was the man who almost won that second race at Rockingham, the one that Osborne won. But still, Dylan Young, you know, a okay season, 11th place in the standings, and he will... Yeah, but he that may here may not, may not have won a race yet though. He's he has seven top fives and fourteen top ten. So another good season for Dylan Young in the Miller Lite Dodge. A couple of seconds this season, which I'm sure is a bit discouraging for Dylan. But nothing gets him down if you know him. Cat Batson runs in in tenth position. Meanwhile, Young by the way runs runs ninth. Cat Batson runs tenth at the moment. Up ahead of her, Benj uh, behind her, I should say, Benjamin Miles in 11th. 12th is Nathan Orman. 13th is, Mike, is Paul Minnick. Emmanuel Hartnett runs 14th. 15th at the moment is Johnny Gardner. William Brock, 16th. 17th is Matt Haas. 18th is Carson Gunn. 19th, Jackson Haywood. And 20th, trying to fight for 19th, is Charles Sanford in the 24 machine. And right behind him, Seth Cohen, number 98. Seth right now runs sixth in the standings coming into this event. Down the back stretch here, here comes, here comes Keith Batson to the low side. He'll look low on Zach Rogers and Joshua Osborne. He'll, he'll try to take two positions away at one time. And Batson moves up in the fifth position now at the moment as they come off the as they come to the start finish line. But Osborne trying to look back to the low side now as they come through turns three and four. We talked about the Homestead cur curse a little bit earlier. Batson was one of those who fell to the Homestead curse that came in season that came in season nineteen when he had the championship. It looked like he all but locked up. Then got into a crash in the middle of the race and um, <clears throat> and gave the championship, handed the championship to the man behind him, Joshua Osborne, who's the three-time champion in the series. Madsen wants to be the one-time champion, and he hopes that nothing bad happens to that number 88 quality care services Ford. And by the way, Charles Samper was the one who led the points coming into this event, and he is currently behind Batson at the moment. So Charles hopes to uh, gain some positions and quick too because we are at 21 in the books. This will be 22 in the books now. And 19 laps to go here at, at Homestead in this season. So we're already at here uh, halfway home in this race. Average speed 177.007 right now. Fast lap race so far being turned by Matt Haas at just over 181 miles per hour. This is a, this is a fast track at Homestead. Not quite as fast as we saw at Atlanta earlier this season when we, they were topping well over 190 miles per hour over there. This track is about 10 miles an hour slower, and you do have a and you do have a noticeable fall off when it comes to the the um, way this track is at Homestead. Now, as you see the comparison of lap times between what Shelton's run fast lap and comparing to her last lap, about a six mile an hour fall off at the moment, 180 to 174. The current pace right now. McIntyre at 175, Quentin Moore at 174, Shane Lake also at 175, Batson at 174. Three wide right behind, Benjamin Miles trying to go by go by Kev Shearer and, and Zach Rogers, so move Benjamin up to ninth position, and Benjamin would like to finish the season strong. He currently sits coming in this race. Looking for him. Well, it comes in this race, 19th in the standings coming into this race, so Benjamin looking pretty strong here. <clears throat> Came, coming on strong in the last half of the season, I will say that for sure. The 21 team has, a, has had a couple of hiccups here and there. Three wide again. This time Johnny, Ro Johnny Gardner trying to push Nathan Orman by Zach Rogers. So Orman now goes to the top 10 at the moment, and he comes in this race 20th. He's a, in fact, he's in back behind Zach, uh, behind... Benjamin Miles in the points. Not that far behind, though. He's 30 points behind him, trying to take overtake him from 19. Johnny Gardner, meantime, he is currently 12th in the standings coming into this event in that number 12 machine. He did score the win. That came at uh, the first race at Pocono this season. Second place right there as Quentin Moore getting by uh, Levi McIntyre. And here comes Shane Lake to the low side. All of them chasing Jessica Sheldon, who's looking for her third victory of the season. 
in her 10 race abbreviated schedule, and I tell you, shows you how good of a driver Shelton is in this series. I mean, and, well, she's good in any series that she runs in, I will say that for sure, but... And Jess has won at Homestead before herself, too. Quentin Moore never has won here at Homestead. And he hopes to rectify that. And he must have hurt me because here he goes for the lead. As Quentin Moore looks slow on Jessica Shelton. And he's got the top spot. So move the Morgan Shepard course up to the number one spot. And Shane Lake looks slow. He's got Shelton behind. He's, he's on the inside of Shelton. And Keith Batts and now Newton looks inside of Levi McIntyre for position. Off the second turn they come, Shane Lake running for running second position here. Shelton in third. Here comes Batson to the low side looking for third spot. He's got it, I think. Dips to the low side. They're going to go side by side. Come off turn number four. And Batson takes the third position away. 29 laps in the books, 12 laps remaining in the season. Bats in the third. Quentin Moore, car 89, the Racing with Jesus Dodge. Out in front. Shane Lake, second position at the moment. Shane's been second the last three, or has been second in the last two races this season at Rockingham and Phoenix, and he hopes to rectify that here. He hopes to he hopes to improve that by one more notch for the win here today to close out the season. Meantime, Keith Batson gets shoved up high by by Levi McIntyre as we're now down to 10 laps to go. Shane Lake closing up a little bit. Sanford right now running 17th at the moment. Batson just now lost by he's now down to 4th. That's Keith's mission right now is to finish ahead of the 24. That's, the, that's his mission at the moment. Whether he wins the race or not. <coughs> but here comes McIntyre, car number 99 to the low side of Shane Lake in the 30 machine as they go to the inside lane. McIntyre takes position away. That is for second place. Dylan Young rides fifth. Osborne in sixth. Shelton seventh. Eighth is Miles. Ninth is Cat Batson and Nathan Ormond. Running 10th at the moment as they come through the turners 1 and 2 again. 33 laps in the books. 8 to go. There's the rest of the order right now as they go through here. There's Kyle Matthews having a, and he has had a dismal last few races. That's really killed the shot for the championship. Had the points lead for most of the season, and unfortunately for Matthews, it's all fell down for him in that 42 machine. So that shot for the third championship will have to extend another season in season 25 when we go to the Arrow 88 mod. But all in all for Kyle Matthews here, a good season for him. Three wins, 11 top fives, and 17 top tens for him in two pole positions. So great season for, obviously, for Kyle Matthews. If he just wished it would have ended a little bit better <clears throat> than how it all ended up here today. He's 32nd at the moment, uh, trying to outrun Benjamin, or uh, not Benjamin Miles, but Zachary Fitzwater in card number nine. <clears throat> 
Quentin Moore now knows there's now five laps to go here at Homestead. Levi McIntyre trying to close up on him for the, for the win. Off the fourth turn they come here. Quentin Moore to the start finish line. Now four laps to go. Charles Samper runs in 18th at the moment. Car number 24. Now in the clutches of the 0-1 of Jesse Turner at the moment. There he is at the moment. We're trying to get by Emmanuel Hartnett in number 20. Three to go. Sam for off turn number two. Goes inside of McIntyre for second place. He looks to the low side of the track here. Gets by McIntyre. Now has his side set on the 89 car. Quentin Moore. Batson knows he's got two laps to go. He has been frustrated so many times in the championship race. You remember, not only did he lose it in season 19 to Joshua Osborne, but he also lost it on a late season charge by Ashley Sears in season 3. That's how long he's been in the series, by the way. Talking about Keith Batson. He looks low on the 89 of Quentin Moore for the lead. This could, be, this could be the exclamation point of the season. Batson to the lead now. White flag. This could be the ultimate day for Keith Batson if he here he's got the championship basically almost all but wrapped up. Almost. Not until the checker flag falls though. <laughs> McIntyre and Moore side by side. McIntyre trying to, will try to mount a charge into turn three here. Trying to close up on the 88 car. And off the fourth turn they come. And the ultimate day has happened for Keith Batson. He wins the Board Eco Boost 400 and with it the season 24 Castrol GTX Cup Series Championship. The man from the state of Maine has finally accomplished the ultimate in this series. What an event that was here today at Homestead Miami Speed and the Ford XX, who sponsored this race pretty much, has got to be overjoyed to say the least here. And back, and back to this, a Ford top two, by the way. Levi McIntyre will finish second, so Ford's swept the top two spots here today. Quentin Moore's Dodgins up third. Fourth will go to Shane Lake. Fifth to Dylan Young. Benjamin Miles sixth. Jessica Shelton seventh. Eighth will go to, to Joshua Osborne. Ninth will go to Kat Batson. And tenth will go to Nathan Ormond. Average speed here today, 175.196 miles per hour. Keith Batson wins the race and the championship this season. Un, like I said, this is the, the ultimate for him this season here. The man who's tried since season two to win a series championship in 20, here, and 22 seasons later, it has fought, the dream has come true for the man who said from the state of Maine here. <clears throat> Rest of the finishing order for you here today. Johnny Gardner comes on 12th, 11th position, excuse me, 12th, Matt Haas. 13th will go to Zach Rogers. Bit of a comeback after falling back just a little bit. Kev Shear 14th. Seth Cole, 15th. 16th will go to William Brock. Emmanuel Harden is 17th. And Charles Sanford, not much of a not much of a factor here, unfortunately for him. Not the way he wanted the race for the championship. Or lose it for that back too. And he will end up 18th and another one that has uh, and added him to the list. Unfortunately, that's guy that came in, a guy that came in the series, series season to this race, the points leader, and failed to come out the champion. So sad moment. So bittersweet ending, unfortunately, for Charles Samper. But you know he's 
here, but you know that, but, but you know he knows the crew gave it his all for to try to wet race for the championship, and unfortunately didn't come to pass here for him. Maybe next season for him, for possibly for number two. We'll see. Uh, Jesse Turner comes home 19th. 20th will go to Carson Gum. 21st will go to Jackson Haywood. Mike Becker 22nd. 23rd Jay Jefferson. 24th Paul Minnick. And Zach Winkle 25th. Tristan Allen, Mitchell Collins, Cole Debra, horrific 28th on the, on the last race of the season for him. Um, Dylan Pote and Sky Commons was the, was the last of the top 30. Then Ryan Brommer, Kyle Mathis, a dismal 32nd. And that's pretty much the way his season is, last half of the season is gone, except for the win at Charlotte. Um, so he will be relegated likely to maybe third, possibly fourth place in the standings if, if, if the calculations are great. We'll... we'll Give you the rundown on the points after this uh, after this race. By the way, at, later on in this video, um, Zachary, Zachary Fitzwater thirty third, thirty fourth. Rob Evans, Paul, Phil Parker thirty fifth. Ryan George thirty sixth. Daniel Bouchard thirty seventh. Jeremy Diaz thirty eighth. Michael Whitman thirty ninth. James Henry fortieth. And Matthew Logan, the winner of the six hundred at Charlotte, ends up dead last this season. So. That will do it at Homestead Miami Speedway, and we will, and we will, and, and the point, and the points rundown, and we will be back for the points rundown after this. Welcome back here as we are, as the 34th season, season is concluded here, and here's the Rookie of the Year points, Jackson Haywood. Is your rookie of the year this season for season 24 in the series? He and Tristan Allen are first and second. Allen six points behind, and Matthew Logan, who was the only rookie to win this season, he was ends up finishing third in the rookie standings this season. Unfortunately for him, he did get the win at Charlotte this season in the 600. <coughs> Allen and Haywood, unfortunately, never won this season, but still good. So Jackson Haywood is your rookie of the year for season 24. Now here's the final points for the season. As we mentioned, Keith Bazin is the champion that, that after a big that after the big win at Homestead. He also adding on to his wins at Talladega and at Riverside this season. As he wins the championship by 70 points over Charles Sanford, who finishes second in the points, 45-57 to 44-87. Here, Batson with three wins, two, 11 top fives, two, uh, 21 top tens. He also, or Charles Sandler with one win, nine top fives, and 22 top tens. He had one more top ten finish, but Batson had two more top fives. And even though Sandler, uh, Sandler even also qualified first more times, four to two, but the average finish position, position as you see, 1165 to 1209. <clears> How <throat> this whole deal. So, that's how it ends up here with Keith Batson winning the championship. Charles Sandler finishes second in the points. Kyle Matthews he ends up third in the points here, I should say. I thought he said, I thought he lost third after that race at Homestead, but he ends up finishing third in the points. 204 behind the leaders. He ends up he ends up with three wins, 11 top fives, and 17 top 10 finishes. Average finish of 13.65 and two poles for the season. Joshua Osborne, well, he was one of the three drivers that he's one of the three drivers who led him all in wins this season. Four wins, 10 top fives, 18 top 10 finishes, and one pole. The four wins came at both Michigan races, Daytona the, in the 400, and also at Rockingham this season. Matthews, by the way, his wins was at Rockingham, Martinsville, and at Charlotte in the Familiola Yellow 500. <coughs> Zach Rogers with a great comeback season. His first season back, he ends up finishing with a top five points finish. He ends up finishing with the uh, fifth position with four, with four wins, 11 top fives, and 15 top ten finishes, and two pole positions. Average finish of 14.21. So, Zach Rogers with a great comeback season for him. He also with four wins. His four wins came at New Hampshire, Richmond, Bristol, and at Texas this season. Seth Cole, likewise, also with four wins this season. He ends up finishing sixth in the point standings coming, uh, coming out of Homestead. And his wins came at Auto Club, Darlington, Richmond, and Dover. Uh, the Darlington win, 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 by the way, was the Southern 500 for Seth Cole. The first time I think he ever won that event. He ends up with four wins, 11 top fives, and 18 top 10 finishes, and an average finish of 14.53, and five pole positions that led everybody in the start, in the pole position category, <clears throat> and a points total of 42.95. Cole Deaver with a seventh place finish, finish in the points, one win, 10 top fives, and 15 top 10 finishes, and three pole positions. Levi McIntyre, two win, or Deaver's win came at the Holly Farms 400 at North Wilkesboro. 
Then Levi McIntyre had two wins. He had the win at the night race at Bristol and also the win of the first double race of the season. He had nine top fives and 16 top, finishes, finish, top 10 finishes, but no pole positions, unfortunately, for him. Quentin Moore had a top, uh, when finishes ninth in the standings this season. His win, came, his lone win came in Atlanta, at Atlanta. He almost took Homestead for that back, too. He almost took that race in a, a couple others. But he got the win in Atlanta, seven top t fives and 17 top 10 finishes, and one pole position for Quentin Moore and the Morgan Shepherd team. And running out in top 10 is Cab Shear. His win came at Sonoma this season. He has six top fives and 10 top 10 finishes, and one pole position on the season. I think that came at Sonoma as well. And a point total of 39.93. Dylan Young comes home at 11th in the points. Johnny Gardner, 12th position in the points. He had that one win at Pocono. And four top fives and nine top ten finishes in the, in the one pole position. Um, Paul Minnick was 13th in the points. Shane Lake moved up to 14th in the same finishes with four top fives and seven top ten finishes. And no wins, unfortunately, for him yet. Uh, Cat Madsen, 15th in the points. Jesse Turner, 16th. He, uh, he scored a win at Watkins Glen. Carson Gunn scored a win at Phoenix. He ends up 17th in the standings this season. Benjamin Miles moved up to 18th. Nathan Orman moved up to 19th in the standings. Ryan George, with that, uh, despite the win at Pocono, the second race over there, slipped to 20th in the standings coming out of Homestead. Finishing 21st will be William Brock in the points. Dill Parker finishes 22nd. This, here, he scored the win at Darlington this season the, in the first race over there. Three top fives and eight top ten finishes. Emmanuel Hartnett had, was 23rd in the points. Dylan Pote, 24th. Ryan Brommer, 25th. Sky Cummins, 26th. Rob Evans, 27th. Zachary Fitzwater, 28th. Mike, Mike Becker, with that win in the Daytona 500, finishes 29th in the standings. And Jackson Haywood, the Rookie of the Year this season, finishes in 30th. <coughs> Matt Haas scored a lone win at Talladega this season uh, in the first Talladega race over there. The Winston 500, he ends up 31st in the standings. Mitchell Collins, 32nd. Um, Zach Winkle, 33rd in the points. 34th, Jay Jefferson. 35th, Tristan Allen. 36th was Daniel Bouchard. Michael Whitman, 37th. Matthew Logan scored the win at Charlotte this season in the 600. He ends up 38th. James Henry, 39th. Jeremy Diaz, out of the full-time runners, ends up last in the points out of the full-time runners. James Henry is the only driver that did not score a top 10 this season, by the way, unfortunately for him. And Jessica Shelton with her 10 race season. She ends up with two wins that came at North Wilkesboro in the first Junior 400 and also the win at the Brick... And also scored the uh, scored no no he scored the win at the at the um, first Union 400 in North Wilkesboro, but she also won the Brickyard 400 in Indianapolis, and also the Winston All Stars at Charlotte. Uh, she had two wins, the two in which both those wins were the top five finishes, by the way, and scored a top ten and scored four top tens in the races and three pole positions. So, and an average finish of fourteen point seventy on the season, and an average start of thirteen and a half. And, and her 10 race uh, season culminated with 1,274 points. <clears throat> so that's your points right now for season 24 of the Casual GTX Cup Series as... So... Out of those 41 drivers, 19 of them scored a win this season on the Casual GTX Cup Series Tour. And um, a very competitive season, I will say, definitely for sure here. And we expect that we, and we, season, so season 24 is over. Season 25 rolls around with better racing than ever before, obviously, for this season. So, and we currently, as of this, as of this video, have the, and we currently, uh, as this video has, has been uploaded, we have currently have the Inner CRA Melly Yellow Racing Series currently running right now <clears throat> and for by the way for those of you who want to design a car for season 25 please um pick the sponsor and stuff out i will and stuff out and the number you want and the manufacturers will be running for this season for arrow 88 is ford chevrolet pontiac Oldsmobile, and buick that's the manufacturer will be running this next season so thank you all so much for for tuning in for season 24 of the Casual GTX Cup Series. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Inner Sports and Gaming Channel. We got everything on this channel. We got inner races, gaming videos, whatever the present of the Inner Series Seth Cole's for this channel. And in addition to this series, be all sure also to check out the Inner Series Marvel Studios Cup Series on Freshman 899's channel. Also on this very channel, the Inner Series Marvel the Inner Series Sports and Gaming Channel, we have the Pedigree 
Xfinity Series. We have the Duracell Cup Series, and we also have the Bowser All Pro Series from Michael Norman. So be sure to check those series out, and you will not regret checking this, this series, nor this channel out, neither. Some of this offline and online stuff is under the NSCR umbrella, and you will not regret checking it out, neither. And yes, we have, I said online because we have online racing videos in the, on this channel as well. So again, thank you all so, so much for joining us for Season 24. The Casual TGX Cup Series for now, this is James Coles, from the direction of the NSCRA. Offline racing at its best. We will see you in Season 25 at Daytona.